What's up guys, it is Charles Ryan. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Earthbound. In the last episode, we defeated the Plague Rat and made our way to Magnet Hill, the fifth Your Sanctuary location. On this episode, we have come back to Delam, used the carrot key to get rid of the rabbits here, and now we will enter the next area. Welcome to the Pink Cloud, the uh, fourth Your Sanctuary uh, dungeon in the game. Uh, there are a couple of new enemies in here, and hopefully we will be able to go through them as we progress through the dungeon. Um, I don't actually remember a whole lot about Pink Cloud, so we'll probably be playing a lot of this by ear, but we find the Bracer of Kings. Yeah, straight off the bat they're giving this to you, and, um, you want to give this to Poo. Um, he's holding a great charm. I don't know why he's holding a great charm. Um, give the great charm to Paula, I suppose. Although I think she's already got one equipped. Um, then we will give the Bracer of Char uh, Bracer of Kings to Pooh. Also, uh, you may notice that, um, yeah, our inventory looks a, uh, a little bit different now. It's got quite, um, a few other... Uh, well, it's actually got quite a few things missing, uh, because I gave a couple of them to the Escargo Express, or I just shuffled them around so that we'd have a, uh, little bit more open spaces. So yes, we have two new enemies. We have the Conducting Menace, and we have the Tangu. Um, there, yeah, these guys aren't too, too bad to handle. I think we'll bash, actually no, well, you know, we'll use Rock and Beta. We'll use Rock and Beta, and we will use Freeze Gamma, um... I don't think there's like a, there's a particular one I should use or not, so I'll just freeze. Yeah, I'll freeze them both. I think I'm freezing them both at least. Yeah, 352, not too bad. Flash beta. Yep, that can happen. That can happen when you use free, uh, when you use flash. It can be a one-hit kill. So at least you got to see the uh, the devastating power of the um, was it conductive menace. Menace indeed! So, um, I believe we have a couple of live noodles that I don't really want to use. Um, but... Wait, do we have a couple of live noodles? We might not. Oh, we do. Okay. I may as well use it now. Um, if, if a party member does fall in battle, like Paula just did then, um, you can go back to Pooh's Master and heal for free. So... If you don't have a cup of life noodles, or don't feel like using your cup of life noodles, then you don't have to. Oh, hey, cool. We meet the other new enemy. The Thundermite. Thunder attacks. Fortunately, we have the Franklin Badge. So that pretty much means, yeah, most thunder attacks that they are going to be sending our way will be deflected back at them. Um, you want to make sure Paula is holding it, because pretty much at this point, Paula is the weakest member of your party, so... Um, you want to make sure she is holding the Franklin Badge so that she does not get knocked out. Also, she's the most important member of the party because she has the hardest hitting, um, PK moves like PK Freeze Omega. So, you basically want to keep her around as long as you can. So, if that means giving her the Franklin Badge, then by God, I'm going to give her the Franklin Badge. Also, she gained a level. Oh, please. Oh, max PP up by 14 and offense up Omega. Also, Pooh getting another level. This, ooh, this looks like a good one. 25... HP and 9 PP. Can't ask for better than that. I am very happy about that. Um, who else got hit by Thunder? Someone else got hit by Thunder. I think it was Jeff. Was it Jeff? Yeah, it would, ha it would have had to have been Jeff because um, Paula couldn't have gotten hit by it. And I think Ness also got hit by it. So we'll heal Ness and then we'll use Pooh to heal Jeff. Also, something. Um, water bottles. Uh, it might be a good idea to have a couple of water bottles with you because water bottles uh, restore your PP and you can pretty much buy them uh, in regularity from the uh, restaurant in Delam. Uh, not only can you buy those, you can also buy the, um, what are they called? You can buy the brain food lunches, which obviously are also very useful for not only healing PP, but also healing HP. So um, I might recommend, yeah, you grabbing a couple of those before you set out to Pink Cloud. Um, just in case you're not like, you're not 100% confident uh, that you're going to make it through in one piece without needing to heal. Also, yeah, you're going to come too. All right. Eh, it's not a uh, um, 
Conductive Menace, that's a good thing. Uh, I'm just going to keep bashing. Paula can pretty much handle these guys on her own at this point, so... I will just continue to use Freeze Beta, because it looks like it... Yep, it's just one hit shot. One hit KOs the, um... Bloody... the Thundermite. That's the name. And, um... Bash. Why not? Let's just keep the bashing going. And there we go. So yeah, these enemies aren't too challenging. If you've come, if you've just come from Magnet Hill, these guys won't put up like a hell of a fight. Um, are you still asleep, Jeff? No, you're not good. Um, so this area, yeah, like I don't know why you wouldn't just come here after um, completing Magnet Hill, because yeah, the enemies aren't too um, too terrible, and you can pretty much make it through here um, pretty easily. Also, new enemy, we have the Kiss of Death. Looking like some uh, weird looking lips there. Um, I think. Yeah, sh freeze beta. Also. Oh, Ness fell asleep. Oh dear. Oh well. Uh, that should take out the Tengu. Yeah. What was that? Paula Prey. Oh, Paula has the option to auto fight and run away now. I've never seen that actually. Um, we may as well freeze beta the Tengu and then just uh, do everything else on the. Uh, kiss of death, which is that's a that is a more badass name the kiss of death like all right, then um, Free spada should take it out Yes, very good. Very good. All right. I think bottles of water for Ness Pooh and Paula and um, Oh, we have both freeze omegas now. Yes Yes, that's so good or freeze is that freeze gamma or freeze omega? I think that's Freeze Omega. Pretty sure that's Freeze Omega. Um, we'll beta heal Jeff. And we'll beta heal Poo, I think. Wait, no. We'll alpha heal Poo, because I don't think Poo took that much damage. Oh, okay. Maybe he did. I think he's pretty much... He's, he's close to full HP now. Uh, water bottles. Water bottles. Bottle of water. Here we go. So, we'll use that on Poo to start with. 10 PP. Okay. Um, we'll keep that brain food lunch for a while. Bottle of water to Paula. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Pooh is the only one who actually uh, can restore his PP with regularity with bottled water. Everyone else just gets one. That's right. Um, there was one more bottle. There it is. So I guess Pooh will just drink those bottles of water. All right. There we go. Now, here we go. You have holes in... um. Pink clouds. So the sudden guts pill. Um, yeah, Jeff and uh, Ness can hold on to that. I might actually use that on the uh, in the first battle, or oh, um, in the uh, on the first turn. Now, hmm, I'm trying to think. Where are the? I think it might be the far left hole. I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember how to navigate around this place. What do we got in here? The rock candy. Yes. Now, the rock candy is a very good item, and um, I'd actually recommend, yeah, holding on to it for a little bit, because there's actually a little little known, um, like, basically a trick you can do with the rock candy, which is extremely, extremely useful. Um, bash. Now, we want to freeze gamma, basically both of these guys. I want to focus on the, um, on the conductive menace, because I really don't want him killing Paula again, because there is no way to re um, revive her if she goes down in battle, so there we go, okay, we took him out, and bash, cool, problem solved, he's dead, we're done, good, 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 and there was a snake, alright, we get a snake, what does that do, snake, um, when used during battle, it bites the enemy and disappears, it may also poison the enemy, okay, might be useful, um, just keep heading left eventually, and here we go. We have reached the Your Sanctuary location. Um, let's just make sure. What is everyone HP looking like? Good, good, good. All right, yeah, pretty much everyone's at max HP. Um, we don't have any more bottles of water, do we? Just a real quick check. Um, no, no more. All right, here we go. Let's confront it. You finally got here. This is the sixth Your Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. <laughs> it's actually a little bit hard to do. My throat's hurting a little bit. I don't know why. Um, 
All right. Uh, actually, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Do I want to start with the snake or the sun guts pill? Let's try it with... Let's try the snake. Let's just try it. I want to just see what happens. Um, if you have bottle rockets, again, use them. I don't, um, but I think what I'm going to try and do is... I kind of want to use the neutralizer, but I don't think this guy has any shields to start with. Um, I should make sure. Sure about that with my notes. I'm fairly... I'm... I'm 99% certain. Yeah, he doesn't have any uh, shield or anything, so neutralizer wouldn't work. Uh, we'll just shoot him. <laughs> we'll just shoot him. Why not? Uh, and then another freezer mega. So that's doing 368 damage. That's that's not too bad. I'm thinking he's got. I think he's got around like 2,000 HP. Yeah, shooting again. Crushing boom bang attack. Ow. Deflected. And. Oh, and he got poisoned. Nice, nice. That's what I wanted to happen. Um, I will heal myself. Um, well, now, yeah, now that he's poisoned as well, um, it basically, yeah, means that we can just smack him down. Because there's not going to be a whole lot he's going to be able to do to, um, do against us. 18 damage, taking deep breaths for the next assault. Okay. I have a feeling that means something bad. No. Max out his HP. Now, I'm also going to use the Sudden Guts pill on Ness. Because that means I have a higher, um... That means I will have a higher, um... Chance to do... Smash attacks, I believe. Shoot. <laughs> I feel so bad for Jeff. He does no damage. Oh, I feel so bad for him. Um... I guess we'll use Magnet. Not sure how much PP this guy actually has. If he has any Magnet. But, um... I'm assuming if he's got, um, if he's using Crushing Boom Bang attacks, okay, yeah, so he has quite a bit. Gus became 68, felt the pain from poison, 21 damage, was able to move. <laughs> one damage. I can't wait for that one damage to be the damage that actually kills him, like, no joke. Uh, recover, magnet, shoot, and freeze beta. Just gonna keep stealing that, um, 21 damage, summon a storm. Ooh! Ouch! Yep, that's equivalent to basically a flash. God damn it! God damn it! Oh, that XP and Jeff gets none of it. No, I'm sorry, Tony. But yeah, um, that is essentially a um. What was it? Yeah, it's it's summon a storm is essentially like um, a uh, a flash attack. It's just gonna kill you. Oh, at least Pooh's gonna get uh, quite a few levels. That's good. Level 35. Oh, I'm sorry, Jeff. I'm sorry, Tony. Oh, every time. Oh, well. Oh, well. Alright, yep. But here we go. We have reached the sixth Your Sanctuary location. And there we go. Ah, <sighs> Ness had a short vision of seeing his mother when she was young. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the pink cloud. So, now that we look at it... Yeah, <laughs> Jeff Sale is just still scrolling back up. Nice. So we have Ness at level 48. Paula is level 42. Jeff is level 40. And Pooh is level 35. Well, we're pretty... Pretty decent stats. Paula has so much PP. My god. My god. Yes. Um, we have the Bracer of Kings. I'm thinking that's all that there's left for us here in, um, in Pink Cloud. Yeah, we got the Bracer of Kings. We got the Sun Guts Pill. We got the Rock Candy. We fought every enemy. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much done here. So we will head out of this cave and immediately fight an enemy it seems there yeah, maybe Jeff can uh maybe Jeff can get a level that he so dearly missed in that last fight oh I feel so bad for him I really need to get him thing is as well like even though Jeff shoots he should be using bottle rockets and I don't know why I'm not buying more bottle rockets for him I really don't so I think um oh crap I did freeze gamma on the kiss of on the kiss of death twice luckily Pooh will do it on the uh conductor menace I really should buy some more big bottle rockets for Jeff. I don't know why I haven't, because, like, he he really needs them. Because his gun doesn't, like, his offense is crap. Oh, Pooh got a level up. God damn it. Alright, I'll take it. 
He oh, Healing Omega. I'm thinking that's the one that brings you back from the dead. I can't remember, but I know there's a healing that revives people from the dead. I'm not sure if it's Healing Omega or not, but, um, yeah. So we will climb this rope and we will be done here. So, um, while we're climbing out of here, I may as well go over, yes, the rock candy. There is, um, a very, very useful trick you can do with the rock candy. Um, basically you can give the rock candy and some condiments to one person, then move the rock candy so it's the last item in that person's inventory, so you basically give it to themselves. You use the rock candy in battle and the, and the condiment will get used up instead. Uh, not the, um, not the, uh, rock candy itself. So, obviously condiments to use, like, um, jars of deli sauce, sugar packs, all that sort of stuff. And, um, it's actually a really useful way to, um, get to your stat increases, because, yeah, the rock candy essentially will raise one random stat once. So it could raise, uh, of one character, so it could raise PPE, it could raise, um... Alright, the chance of you finding the photography, man, it could, could raise that, apparently. Pictures taken instantaneously, I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, Buzzy Pickles. Click! Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Nice, nice. Very, very nice. Don't be careless. Alright, we'll get healed up. And I think that... Wow, what a fantastic voice crack. Also, let's talk to Dad so we can save. Uh, ah, there we go. Now we've got some money in the bank again. Very, very good. But yeah, I, um... I think it's about time we would teleport back to, um... Teleport back to Summers. Because we've pretty much done everything in, um... In Foresight now. We've done everything in Delam. So, yeah, I think it's about time that we head on back to, um... Summers, don't you? Teleport beta to Summers. Off we go. Hopefully, I'm not going to hit the wall. Nah, I'm fine. Woo! Ah, very nice. Very nice. Also, something I'm going to check real quick. What does Jeff use? He uses the zip gun. I swear he has better weapons. He, sh he should have better weapons than that at this point in the game. I swear. I might look into that off screen, see if I can get him some better weapons, because I know he ha he, like... He has to have, like, he has to have better weapons at this point in the game. Like, we're at the 60 year Sanctuary location, he's doing one damage. He has to have better weapons than that at this point in the game. Hmm. Might look into that, uh, um, in between episodes and see if I can get him a better weapon before the next episode. Because I know he has other weapons that he can get. I think I missed a broken item in Foresight. The, um... Actually, yeah, I, act I know where the item is. We'll go and get, we'll actually go pick that up. Because... I kind of didn't want to make any more story progress because we just did a um, Your Sanctuary location, so I kind of wanted to have that be the main attraction of this episode, so it's definitely in Foreside. It's the Foreside Junk Shop is what I'm looking for, so we'll just we'll wander around, um, see what buildings we can actually go into, and um, yeah, try and find this Foreside Junk Shop because that's where we find the broken gadget? And with the broken gadget, we, um, we get the, I want to say it's the hyper beam. I want to say it's the hyper beam, but I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. So don't quote me on that. But yeah, the fact that he's only doing like one damage to bosses is just, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. Can't be having that. So, um, we'll quickly wander around looking for that, um, building because we got enough time in the episode. So... It'll also give me a chance to have a chat with you guys, because it's been a while since we've had a... Oh, excuse me. Uh, had a nice, good conversation, so... Uh, how have you guys been? Um, I've been not too bad. Um, just about to finish up. I Why did I bash with poo? Why did I do that? Eh, it's not going to matter. Because it's, yeah, it's going to die before it matters, but oh well. Um, yeah, I've not been too bad. University's almost, almost done for the semester. I'm so looking forward to that. Because that means I'll have a chance to just, like, relax and play some more of the games that I've needed to play more of as of recently. Because I've been playing a lot of, um, 
I've actually been playing a lot of uh, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, which, um, that is a very, I, I know, like, a lot of people don't like that game for one reason or another. I personally quite enjoy Skyward Sword, um, and not to spoil a future video, but, um, I will have a chance to talk about, um, my feelings towards Skyward Sword in a future video, perhaps even a top 10, so... Um, keep your eyes out for that one, that'll be coming out probably... Maybe this month? I had an idea for, um, for a top 10 I wanted to do this month, but now I'm thinking it might be better if I do this other one. So, I'm, I'm not 100% sure yet, I'm a bit still undecided, so, um... Yeah, just keep your eyes peeled, there will definitely be a top 10 sometime in May, I wanna say. I wanna say, yeah, sometime in May you will get a top 10. Um, when in May? It's a bit hard to say at this point in time, but just just be patient. You will definitely get a top 10. Um, I really should have brought up a map of Foresight before I started just wandering around trying to find this junk shop. But eh, it's okay, it gives us a chance to talk. Um, besides that, I've also... Did you just walk backwards? You just 100% walked backwards, I saw you. Um, besides that, I've been... I started playing Dark Souls again. Um, for any of you who checked it out, um, I'm actu I actually streamed me playing Dark Souls the other day. I was um, basically doing a speed, like a sort of speedrun sort of attempt thing. I've decided that, yeah, I want to start looking at speedrunning the, uh, the first Dark Souls. Um, because, like, I've played that, ga that game pretty much every way possible. Like, I've played it any, like, every build, um, the verses, like, I've pretty, I've played it almost every way that it can be played, so I felt like speedrunning was the next logical step for me to go, because, like, I know that game so well at this point, so, um, I've, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just learning to speedrun. I've, um, my first couple of speedruns were, um, based off of a speedrun that was done at AGDQ 2013. Uh, that used pyromancy, and basically I'm just using that to kind of like um, get me in the like mindset of how to speedrun Dark Souls and like how I want to go about it. Um, Finding me for Earthman 2. Yep. Uh, but yeah, just get me in a mind f mindset for speedrunning Dark Souls and how to go like how to best go about it. But yeah, I mean I'm enjoying it so far. I've I found it really enjoyable and um, I look forward to continuing. Shop located in the back alley of the department store. Ah, okay. But no, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So, um, if you guys want to uh, check that out at all, I will leave a link to my Twitch down below. And um, yeah, just if you want to be notified whenever I go live on Twitch, um, it'll be yeah, just be um, it'll be there in the, it'll give you a notification whenever I go live. So um, yeah, if you want to come to the stream and hang out for a little bit, uh check out what we're doing, I more than welcome you to. Now the back alley behind the department store. So there's the department store there. So the alley behind the department store. Well that's that's Magnet Hill. Does it... it doesn't mean Magnet Hill, does it? No. Is it a little bit further? Is it like further up here, perhaps? Like, is it up around this area? New. No. And it's not down here, because then that's yeah, just the brick wall. Is it up here, perhaps? I have honestly no idea where I'm going to find this thing. I'm just kind of wandering around, hoping that I stumble upon it at some point. Um. Oh god, damn it. Um. Freeze beta. Yep. Shoot, but why do I keep bashing with poof? It doesn't matter, but I'm just like, why do I do that? Um. Alright, never mind. Completely take that back. Smash attack, wow. Very nice. Very, very nice. What have you got to say? Very functional, uh. Hmm. That sign said, back alley of the department store. There's no way to go out the back of the department store, is there? Hold on. Where was the building again? It was up around here. I just want to check it again. I just want to, just want to make check and make sure, yeah, that I'm reading it like, that I'm reading it correctly. 
But yeah, apart from that, I uh, haven't been doing a whole lot much, a whole lot else. Um, playing through, playing through Kingdom Hearts series again because um, I picked up the 1.5 points plus 2.5 remix because that game is so good. Um, so I, yeah, like playing through Kingdom Hearts. Always love playing through Kingdom Hearts. There is lots of junk like this bulletin board at the junk shop, busted up, located in the back alley of the department store. Maybe it's in the department store itself then. That's the only place I could think of, the back alley of the department store. Like, unless it is in the department store itself, then and otherwise I have no idea where I'm going. I'll have to look it up, which I don't really want to do that. Um, what have you got to say? Somehow I feel like the lights will get turned off at the department store. I guess just a mouth's a sixth sense. Mm. Um, I'm just looking for like any door or anything that would like serve as like a back alley as such. Aha! This looks like it. Shh, don't talk to that. What do you want? Need hyper beam. Hyper beam! There we go. Bomb, super bomb, bottle rocket, big bottle rocket. So we could have gotten this, had this weapon for so long. There we go. Look at that. Wow. Great. All right. Good. Good. Good job, me. Uh, we're also going to buy some big bottle rockets because Jeff bloody needs them. All right. We'll get another one. Definitely, big bottle rocket. All right, there we go. Okay, now he's actually got to do some weapon. Actually, no, we can sell this guy some stuff. So let's let's sell him stuff because I've got like some great charms that I don't. I've got some great charms I don't need, so I can sell him actually a fair bit of stuff. I think Jeff's slugging some stuff around. Um, dum 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 bum ba dum ba dum bum. Um, who's holding great charms? I swear Pooh was holding one. No, I guess not. Is Paula holding one? Paula's got one equipped. Oh, no, there's one. Great charm. 200 for it. Yep. Um, sell. What else? What else can I sell? I don't really want to sell the Trout Yogurt. Um, don't really want to sell the Neutralizer or the Hungry HP Sucker. Or the Rust Promoter, either. Um... From what I've been told, actually, the Ruler and Protector don't actually do anything, so... I could sell both of those to free up two spaces, because apparently it's based off of, like, the, um... The way items are actually repaired, it's based off of his IQ stat. Not off of the items that he's holding, so... Um... I'll give you a dollar for it, not a penny more. Sell. So, so we'll sell the Ruler as well. Yep, and then we'll buy two more big bottle rockets. Bottle rockets, wanna like this round. Jeff! So now he'll have four big bottle rockets, which I think will be... That's a good amount for him to have. And I think... Um, yeah, that's about all we need for, for right this second. So yeah, that sounds about right. So, I think this will be a good um, part to end this episode off. So, if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a like down below this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, so you can stay up to date with all my new videos and, um, yeah, in this series or any other new videos. Um, please be sure to leave your comments down below this video. If you have any feedback, I read every single comment and I appreciate all of your support and criticism and comments. And yeah, thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Earthbound. In the next episode, we will be heading back to Summers to continue the plot and... Yeah, probably uh, heading to Scaraba. So I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.